What's up everybody? Welcome back to Don't Feed Sean. Sean here. Today we're going to be checking out a whiskey drink. We're going to be checking out some nice melty chocolate and some chocolate that's out of this world. We're going to finish up on some new rum cake. If you guys have been enjoying the food content, make sure to click that subscribe button, hit that like, smash, do whatever it is you do. And today we'll start up at Disney Springs, home of Wine Bar George, founded by Master Sommelier George Miliotis, who is one of very only a few hundred really master psalms in the world and we were fortunate enough to bump into him where he was introducing to us the all new hooten young whiskey a project he's been involved in i'm just going to let him take it from here so first thing you notice is it's american whiskey not bourbon um and that is a little bit different but part of our mindset when we set out to to have our own whiskey was have something a little bit different um and there's nothing wrong with bourbon. Bourbon is great. Um, but finding 12-year-old product that's nice. bourbon is <laughs> not easy. Not easy. Um, and then, you know, it's expensive too, but we wanted something that was truly delicious, truly different. So what makes it American whiskey, um, this one is 99% corn, 1% barley on the mash bill. And then American whiskey is always distilled to a higher um, proof. This was 190 proof when it was distilled, not 160. Then it was cut down to about 140 when it went into the barrel. Um, but here's another point of differentiation. When you have um, bourbon, you have to put it in first fill charred barrels. These were second fill barrels, and we put them in second fill barrels for a very specific reason. When you put them in first fill, that gives you the smoky, spicy thing that you get in bourbon. We wanted a more mellow kind of thing going on here. So the second fill, you get that really kind of... Um, I call it maple syrup. Some people say vanilla, others say caramel, but I say there's this maple thing and baked apple thing going on. And that's because at the second fill, most of the smokiness and the spiciness is taken out of the barrel and you get more of the kind of uh, pie spice thing that's going on. And then, as I mentioned before, 12 year old, you can't, can't fake that. Um, and that gives it really a smoothness that you don't find in younger, younger whiskeys. And, we really wanted something that was a point of, death, of differentiation. And American whiskey is something you don't see a ton of, um, but it is beautiful. And then, you know, the 99% corn, corn is what we in the States do really, really well. Um, and then some fun things about the three people involved. Putin and Young are two people. Um, Young is Tim Young, who's been a friend of mine since the 90s. Um, our wives work together. I saw Tim about two years ago, um, and he's like, hey, I got this friend, we like uh, cigars and we like whiskey, and we want to do our own whiskey brand, which I was like, yeah, all right, whatever. Um, but Tim kept on me, and he introduced me to Norm Hooten, who's the Hooten part of this. And Norm's a really interesting guy. Norm, if you know the movie Black Hawk Down, oh, yeah. um, there's a character who? I actually met Norm at all right. Corona. Cool, Smoking then you know, cigars. great. So you know the cigar Cigars brand and too. Cigars um, and, and so I got to know who, and I'd known Tim already. I was like, yeah, they're two good dudes. Let's do a cool whiskey brand. Um, and so we're, as soon as we become profitable, we're gonna give some of the profits back to veterans, because that's what Norm is all about. Um, and it is a fun kind of story, and it is just as delicious a product as there is. Norm and Tim went up to MGP with me where we found the whiskey. Um, and both tasted and helped with the tweaking of the product and everything. So we're all involved, it's all fun, and it's all cool. Your thing. How do you take it? All right, I do two things. You did the hoot. I will tell you the hoot on a hot summer day is about as brilliant as it gets. Yep. <laughs> um, and so I love it that way. Then the other way that I'll do it, I'll do about an ounce in, uh, in my Glen Carn glass. I'll have a little bit of distilled cold water with me. I'll take a little spoon and I'll Kind of adjust the uh, proof when you put just about two teaspoons full in there um, a little bit more um, kind of brown sugar starts to come out um, and it even goes to as opposed to apple but maybe apple raspberry and brown sugar all kind of browned in butter which i just love that exactly. kind of rum. it is good and so that's kind of the way i like it that's my end of the night that's my beginning of the night <laughs> All good. Thank you very much. Well, we for your appreciate y'all coming Thank by. You. I appreciate you yep. too. Thank you. Camera guy gets thank a bump too. <laughs> and for that, we thank George and the staff at Wine Bar George for being so kind with us. Uh, we 
ran over to where the new Gideons is going to be, which is actually right across from where Wine Bar George is for you regular Disney goers and you Orlando locals who know where Gideons is and enjoy their products. We went to the Ganachery though. I've been seeing a lot of the Ganachery lately. We had gone for the s'mores. Uh, we were there for the s'mores 100% because these things look amazing and it is really just that time of year but these little mini Frankensteins have been popping up all over the place. We had to go see what that was about too. But I ended up getting distracted. Yeah, the mini Frankenstein, super cool, $28 filled ball, but come on, Chocolate Millennium Falcon, that got my attention. Now the s'mores are, well, as you guys can kind of see here, the s'mores are pretty regularly getting made. They're in high demand. There was a line outside when we were waiting to go in. They only admit so many people at a time right now. So you may have to wait, but it's it's never really more than just a couple minutes. It's It's a nice quick wait. And it's worth it because all the chocolate is just really getting turned up in there. I mean, look at that toast on that marshmallow. My mouth is watering as I watch this. That is just, whew. I need to take a breather. Look at that toasty chocolate. Oh, blowtorch might be the way to go with making s'mores. No smoky fire smell. The chocolate, and that's, oh my God. That is just the way to do it. Blowtorch. Okay, have to pick one of those up for sure. And of course you get your powdered Mickey head on there as well. So if a thick melted s'more is your thing, there you go. That's all you. For me, I'm a nerd. You cannot put a solid chocolate Millennium Falcon in front of me and expect me not to get it or to play with it and these things are fantastic all the chocolate in there is great to finish up disney springs we saw the goodyear blimp though there was no mention of ice cube much to my disappointment i did go over to wetzel pretzels one of my favorite pretzel places from back home in los angeles to get a pretzel which is also right next to yasaki who do my favorite uh teriyaki buns in town they're really one of the only places i found <clears throat> in town that does those teriyaki stuffed buns, the stuffed steam buns, not like the bao that most people are used to, similar dough, but these are filled and their teriyaki is phenomenal. I absolutely love this stuff. It's one of my favorites in town for sure. Finally, we're finishing up with a sneak peek of Cakehead CC pop-ups, rum cakes. Uh, Cakehead CC was started by Isaac of the Lunch Rotation. He's taking these traditional Puerto Rican rum cakes. He's making them with some phenomenal candied walnuts. Let me tell you guys, those things are quite addictive. And since he started making these and doing the pop-ups with them, they've gotten really popular. They're really good. They take that uh, traditional rum cake vibe and, and just kind of enhances it, really. Uh, so... Keep an eye out for these. These are going to be popping up more. Sold out every time. Pretty Getting pretty popular in the area. So make sure to pop on over to his page. Check him out. I want to say shout out to Julian who has helped me with all this footage this week. So make sure to check him out on Instagram as well. Until then guys, stay good and I'll see you next time.